Hello everyone and congratulations to you. This is my new intro from now on. <laughs> I am not kidding. I have uh, finished this video. I recorded this build and edited it and everything um, earlier today. Um, I also did a voiceover and everything. But uh, I just went back to uh, watch it now to make sure that it's all good and I'm gonna redo it because this was such a struggle like the reason why I said congratulations is if this video actually sees the light of day I will be very surprised it has been just distractions after distractions after distractions if it's not a helicopter it's a plane if it's not a plane, it's a truck. If it's not a truck, it's a bus. If it's not a bus, it's the car dealership um, next door. If it's not that, it's my neighbors yelling. If it's not neighbors yelling, it's neighbors slamming doors. And <sighs> I'm just very frustrated. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of person that um, I'm very sensitive to noise. And when there is like little nuisances like that it really 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 bothers me so much um i was like just give me 30 minutes of peace and quiet literally that's all i ask anyway so um the house is pretty much done i need to say this i hope that this video is not too quick um, that I didn't speed it up too, excuse me, speed it up too much. Um, normally, I would have and I was going to, you know, make it in two parts. So do the furnishing and then uh, keep the building video separate. But um, when I went in to edit the video, it was really weird because the building was so quick. And so... The only way that I could do a two part would be if I did the building in um, like a real, real time, so not sped up at all. And I think that's kind of boring, so um, I didn't do that and I just kept it as one video. Um, I don't know, it was weird. Like, granted, the furnishing took a really, really long time because of the landscaping because this build is all about landscaping even though I feel like I say that every video that I make but I do usually anyway I spend a lot of time on landscaping just because I feel like it really elevates the house and the whole lot um, especially if I'm building for you know something that I'm going to upload to the gallery I want to make it look really nice from the outside because that is the first thing that you see so um, the landscaping is really big on this house um, you'll see it later on it is really just makes it so seamlessly fit into the environment like you literally you can't even tell where the lot begins and ends you know so it's really good and what is actually interesting about this house is that I actually um, I had an idea of a backyard or a courtyard if you will that I wanted to make I just I had this idea that I I wanted to do and then I was like I know what the backyard is gonna look like so I'm gonna build a house that would suit that backyard so I started kind of like reverse which I think is kind of interesting I don't think I've ever done that before um, so yeah so I built I mean built I had the idea for the backyard and then I just you know um, like plan how the, the actual house will be and how it will actually tie into the backyard so um, I had a pretty clear vision on, on what I wanted to do the house itself is pretty simple um, I did you know put a lot of effort into everything um, I did you know furnish it and decorated it and everything and I put a lot of effort into all of it um, but it's not as detailed as my builds usually are like decorations and clutter items and all that there's not as much of that happening but like I said it's not like I like half assed my way through it I would never do that um, it's just that the main vocal um, 
point and the the reason for this house is the backyard and I was just really rushing because I wanted to I wanted to get started on that so I could see if it's gonna turn out the way that I wanted it to look like and if you know my vision was gonna come come to life so yeah I really do hope you like it um, let me know uh, down in the comments below if you did and if you do want to um, download it it will be on the gallery by the time this video is uploaded as well so please feel free to check that out the link uh, will be in the description below as well um, but yeah so we are already into uh, into the furnishing part so um, as the title already reveals this is a Mediterranean inspired build also I feel like why this house was so easy for me to, to for me to build and furnish it was because um, this is really the style that I love and I can relate to and it's something that it, it comes very naturally to me so I wasn't struggling at all it was really so nice um, so the whole like the furniture and the you know the color schemes and everything are really gonna tie tie in with that uh, that style as well. Also, obviously this is um, on a lot in Sulani, which I thought was appropriate because if you're gonna go Mediterranean, there has to be an ocean nearby or at least a sea. And um, but you know obviously if you don't have island living or whatever, you can still place it in a different lot. That's totally doable um, you just will probably have to change some landscaping because the plants that I put on the lot obviously um, reflect the environment so if you do decide to put it in a different world maybe you'll have to do some landscaping of your of your own but it's not it's not that big of a deal I don't think that's something that can be easily done but yeah I do hope um, that you uh, you like this house and that you end up downloading it I had a lot of fun a lot of fun uh, making this video and building this house I will say when I was done and when I was going through the footage I I will be honest I think I could have done something better and that is this is a one bedroom house so there's only one master bedroom and there's one bathroom, which is like the main bathroom, but it's right next to the bedroom. You'll see it uh, later on. Um, this probably would have been better off as at least having another, at least one other bedroom. You know, whether that be a kid's, kid's room or there's like an elder living there or just another adult or whatever. Because there is space. There is a lot of space in this house. Um, uh, the main... Uh, living room the formal living room is so big, but there's not really that much in there um, And like the TV room is actually separate um, And there's two Rooms that are kind of don't really have a purpose. I just I wanted it to be very spacious very like open plan living with all the arches and everything so I Don't know, you know if you want to have another bedroom, you can easily put it in. That's basically what I'm saying. All it takes for you to do is just, um, you know, replace the archway with the um, with the door, put in some, you know, bedroom furniture, and you're all set, set and you know, good to go. Because uh, the way that I build my houses is with a story in mind, and the story for this video, shockingly. <laughs> was there was a gay couple living here and that's how i built this house i built this house for two people for two adults one of them uh, was gonna be an actor he's the one that really takes care of his looks that's why i also put that um the vanity with all the mirrors with the light bulbs on them in the study so you know he can really go in there and he has the perfect lighting and he he has all these uh, room dividers for his privacy so he can you know he can practice his lines in the mirrors he can get ready for his auditions and i thought it was it was such a really cool and personalized thing to have in a house so he was going to be the actor that's also um why there's like a microphone in the living room because you know he practices his lines in front of the mirror and then the other guy was going to be this one 
uh, really cares about history and antiques and is really into art and uh, that's why there's you know a lot of um, a lot of little old things around the house everywhere and just that's how I do it you know I I think of a story and then I build a house around it but if you know if you want to use this house in your game and you can adapt it to whatever you want that's totally fine I would I would love it if you did um, but I do hope it I do hope people like it the way it is as well I don't know that's just me that's just how I do it I feel like it gives um, it gives your houses more personality you know if you build it with a sim in mind I feel like and also if you do decide to turn one of the little void rooms into another bedroom there's also plenty of space to add another bathroom um, so those are all really um, really quick fixes you know but yeah the house itself is pretty muted there's just wooden tones some orange in there uh, and the bedroom is the main pop-up of color I think the bathroom as you'll see in the screenshots I don't think I've included the bathroom furnishing oh or it did did I oh my god I honestly don't even know this was like three hours ago and I have no idea what's happened in this video <laughs> I've been so invested. I have been. I started building this at like 11:30, and then I was finished with like recording and editing and everything at like six. Oh yeah, so I, I did include the bottom. It's right here, duh. Um, and then I was, um, you know, I wait. I was waiting for the video to like be exported and all that, and then I realized that it's. It's not looking too too good so I am redoing the voiceover so now it's like 8 p.m. so I've been literally at this this whole day and I haven't had anything to eat or anything at all because I've just been busy doing this <laughs> this is dedication you know that's what I'm saying also if you see in this uh, footage because there is a lot of greenery if at some point you see some of the bushes or flowers or something like that like clipping through walls don't worry um, when I went to take the screenshots I did notice a lot of mistakes and oversights so I did um, go back and fix all of them so while you can see them in this recording the the final house that is on the gallery uh, should be all fixed I may have met, missed some I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say a hundred percent but um I tried I tried to revise everything like there was a lot of mistakes like there was even like the there's a couple of rooms in this house that don't have an actual ceiling the actual roof is the ceiling for the uh, that room um, and there was like ceiling lights with no ceiling <laughs> so I, I did fix that and on that note I will say if it if it bothers you that I removed ceilings from certain rooms and just left the roof to be the ceiling you can easily put that back you just click on the room and click on build ceiling that's again really simple thing to do it literally takes a second the reason why I did it like that was because uh, the windows that are placed under the roof on the wall they provide extra light if you remove the ceiling and I really like the idea to have you know like an open an open ceiling up to the roof and then as you can see now I'm putting in the windows uh, you can have those windows you know provide some extra light and I don't know I think that would be a nice a nice detail to have if you had um, an open an open ceiling like that maybe that's just me I don't know um, yeah um, what else what else do I need to um, mention so yeah, so these are the two rooms that I that I've been mentioning before, like the two void rooms. That was a bit quick, but don't worry, we'll get back to it. Also, I made sure that uh, the front of the house is, looks really nice. Obviously, the the main focal <coughs> point of this house is the backyard, but um, the front looks looks detailed as well. I use these flower beds, which I don't think I like. I rarely, rarely use them. And they are really so handy. I also, I will be honest, I use them to kind of cover up the gap between the floor and the windows. 
which that's not really a big deal but for me i don't know it was kind of bugging me so i tried to cover uh, cover that up <laughs> but you know in the end it worked because it really gives it that that uh detail and uh you know the front of the house is quite busy the back of the house is very busy and then the sides are just gonna be very untouched just to keep keep uh keep it a bit balanced minus the landscaping of course which you just you have to have you know excuse me i'm just gonna take a sip of water because i can feel my my throat already <clears throat> drying up and there we go i don't know why it's happening have i explained this before so i was sick last week and then i was totally fine for like a couple of days i was totally fine i was healthy it was all good and then well i woke up one day and I, again my nose was running my throat was hurting and i felt like i had like a second part of my cold or something and um i don't feel sick anymore but i do have like a bit of a sore throat so that's super fun you know it's not it's not fun at all <laughs> So if I seem a bit low energy, it's because I've been here for the past eight hours and also because I I don't feel a hundred percent. But you know, it's fine, that's life. That is just life. It's all J. What am I up to now? Yeah, also th there is laundry. The laundry is in the kitchen. Um, I don't know where you guys are from, but that is a thing. In some European countries as well, so I thought it, it went well with the team. There is no clothesline outside, just because the, I didn't want my sins to be bothered by that. So there's only the dryer that's in the kitchen. So you're all good to dry your laundry. Just make sure you empty the lint, the lint drawer, because you don't want your sins to, you know, burn to death and stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So there, there are some antique vases and that I mentioned before and the statue of a dog I don't think I've ever used this in my life but I put it in this build there this is a dog friendly house there's a couple of dog beds and a dog bone in the kitchen so I just figured why not pop a little statue in there also I don't know if you guys do this ever I love doing these kind of things like when you like take an empty vase and you put a flower in it or just building objects out of objects and you know it's a bit tricky it takes a while not all of them are compatible but it's it can be done it's doable and it's such a nice touch uh, when you do things like that and it's like it makes it really unique to a house you know um, also you will notice that there is a lot of these movie posters everywhere uh, all over the house there's even gonna be two stacked on top of each other in the bedroom that's because, uh, you know, as I said, one of the sims that I envisioned living here, um, he will, he would be an actor. So these are the posters from the movies that he starred in. And I also tried to like um, size down some of the sculptures to make it look like a, an award. But then I just I ended up with just using the the bronze head or something like that because none of the other ones really looked right so that's the sculpture that's on the bedside table that's that's an award you know until you actually get a sim in and you have them advance in their career that's gonna have to do for now <laughs> but yeah you know that's just me me and my little my little stories to encourage some inspiration and stuff like that also, you know, I love a good cluttered vanity. You gotta have that, just in case, you know, there is a lady, a lady living in here, though, you know, male sims can use makeup as well. Why not? Makeup is for everyone. Especially if you're an actor, I would assume you would have a lot of it. I wouldn't know. I don't use makeup because I am clueless when it comes to it. But, you know, you can't be good at everything. <laughs> You know, not that I would know, but whatever. Oh my god, what am I blabbing on about? It's shut up. Well, I can't shut up because I'm, this is the whole point is of me speaking. Also, in this uh, little hallway that is between the living room, bathroom, and the bedroom, 
there's still some ceiling lights there even though the ceiling is uh, glass so I use the the dance floor as a ceiling again you know I love doing that I just think it's such a cool cool feature of the house um, so there are still ceiling lights but I left it in there because the dance floor does have those like little dividers so I feel like there is something for the lights to hang off of so I that didn't bother me if you think that there shouldn't be any ceiling lights there you know you can replace them if you want I didn't think that was an issue but um, I don't know I just I really love those lights in there they're my favorite ceiling lights I, I think also I don't know if you've noticed but I haven't been like furnishing room by room by room like I usually do I've literally been flying going back and forth all the time I just I kept forgetting things it was sometimes it was little things and then it was like just I kept finding decor decorative items that I wanted to place in different rooms but I even forgot like dishwasher in the kitchen and the bin and then I went back and I put it in but I was just I don't know I was really distracted for some reason when I was doing this house I don't know why um, so hopefully I did catch all of my little mistakes and mishaps and if I didn't and um, oops <laughs> but um, yeah I don't know it was just one of those days it's actually quite cold and raining um, it has been for a couple of days so I'm a bit I feel really sleepy and like I don't know I don't I don't function very well when it's rainy I just I clamp up and I'm completely useless <laughs> I have also moved um, the um, the TV room uh, to the back of the house um, because no what am I saying to the back to the front of the house I moved it from the back because initially I was gonna make this uh, backyard be like almost enclosed with like these two rooms at the back and then I was like that is not enough space um, for the vision that I had and so I I moved that room to the other side of the house and I think it actually it makes more sense because having that archway to the kitchen was weird. I don't know why I kept putting those archways. I think I went a bit overboard. Um, so I think this is better, you know, for the, in the end. I think it actually works out well. So the TV room is now gonna be at the front. You're gonna see the full layout at the, um, at the back of the video as well. So if you're a bit like unsure, a bit confused, don't worry, don't stress. You will, um, you will get a better overview of the house at the end of the video. Now we are on to the most important part of this video, as I've probably said like 15 million times by now. Uh, so we are at the backyard. I'm so excited for you guys to see this um, once it's gonna be done. I really tried. I tried so many different, um, different options like flooring wise and to be completely honest, I feel like we should have more options when it comes to like stone especially, but also like tiles and don't even get me started on the carpet. Oh my god, like this game has been out for five years and we have like three carpet options and they're all hideous. It is actually... I don't even, I don't even have a word to describe how ridiculous that is, like honestly. I have 2500 toilets but like three different carpets like what even anyhow I digress let's focus on the video at hand it's almost done anyway <laughs> um, so I don't know I put a lot of effort I had this vision of how I wanted these like flower beds to look like and I think it, it turned out really really well there's a lot of clipping happening on the inside of the house and the outside of the fence. Um, like I said, I have fixed that before posting this on the gallery. Um, the clipping in the front, it's just, you know, um, I try to make it look as smooth as possible, but it is not always possible to do so. I don't know, it doesn't bother me personally. If it did or you know when it did I did fix it but um, yeah I was also a bit annoyed about those how the fence has those little pillars and then the pillars have the little greenery on top of them 
which I don't mind. I would just prefer to have a plain option as well without the greenery on it. But then I kind of incorporated it, incorporated it into um, my backyard, like putting all these plants in it by sizing them down, and it actually turned out quite cute, I think. So you know, it's all about the solutions. <laughs> I feel like I'm so proud of myself. I mean, I am. I am. But it's just like, you know, like, just chill. You gotta know your place. It's not, not that revolutionary, you know? But yeah, my god, can you imagine living in a house that had a backyard like this and a view like that? You just have like the ocean, have, like a couple of steps away from your, from your house. That's the dream. If I could live anywhere, like, if I could just like have any house I ever, I, any house ever could. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Um, I would, this is the kind of a house that I would pick. Like, now I'm not saying this is my dream house, but it is pretty, 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 pretty close. Um, definitely a beach house that's that would be my one number one pick for myself and hopefully someone else as well like <sighs> fingers crossed one day uh, but yeah i've said it in one of my previous videos as well it is so helpful and so it saves you so much time it is so good when you are sizing objects up and down, like when you're doing landscaping, for example, it is so good to just pick an object, size it up or down, and then just put it somewhere. And then pick another one, size it, and then just put it down. And then just do that. And then when you have a cluster of them, just reposition them how you wanted it to look. Um, instead of just picking an object, resizing it, and then placing it, and then picking another one and resizing it and placing it in the actual, you know, position. It saves so much time, honestly, just trust me on this one. Um, also, I love how seamlessly this lot fits into the, like, the other areas. So you can place it wherever you want, obviously, but if you do end up using the same lot and here in Sulani, it'll be perfect. Like, it looks so effortless it like i love it when you can do that when you can really blend a lot in the environment um it's not always possible of course you know especially when it comes to terrain um but in this case it worked out so well i was really pleased so yeah here we are we are just um just fixing the fixing the furnishing furnishing um, the backyard now which is gonna be the last step and then we're gonna be heading into the screenshots to get a bit of a, a better overview of the whole house the layout and every room individually as per usual uh, I'm pretty sure I've said it before but if you do want to download this it is on the gallery uh, the link to that um, is, is in the description box below if you have any you know comments ideas suggestions if you want me to build something if you want me to do a specific kind of a build whatever anything at all or any other challenges even please leave those comments in the comment section below i will um, happily read them and reply um also i was gonna say something oh yeah the you know that i usually when i do build i usually uh, restrict myself to just using a couple of um, packs to make it easier for people to download my builds, I didn't do that in this house because I just really wanted to have no restrictions. And um, so this house in particular, you know, there's probably probably a good amount of packs that I've used. So if you don't own some of them, you will have to replace some items. But I feel like it would mostly just be landscaping items. So, I, you know, it's just a plan for a plan. It's not that big of a deal. So I am sorry about that. But, you know. I didn't want to restrict myself. I was like, this is, this one's for me. <laughs> ah. You've probably noticed that I used that sculpture again. Um, I'm not sure about what's it called, but I don't know. It's one of my favorite sculptures. I use it so much. And I just thought it 
it just filled that space really nicely and I just felt it it, it was it was on brand you know for this backyard so I had to you know any excuses to do it but yeah this is it you guys and now we're just gonna jump into the screenshots okay so this is just the front of the house as before and um, through the foyer you can either go into the living room or into that little void area to the right there is the door into the study um, the study is kind of separated in two so like we've seen before the the vanity station or getting ready area is at the back looking nice and shiny the kitchen you know with all the basic necessities it's not that special but you can personalize it a bit further if you wish and so this is the living room and uh, the uh, the windows that I was speaking about before uh, it doesn't bother me that there's not an actual ceiling but you know if you wanna if you wanna fix that you can it was just my preference this is one of the void rooms that can be turned into a second bedroom if need be in this one you can see the dance floor uh, ceiling that I mentioned before as well um, this is the TV room that has moved into the front of the house, not the back. <laughs> uh, the very simple bathroom. The master bedroom is again, you know, quite simple, nothing too extravagant, but it does have a, a skylight and um, a bit of a pop, pop of color. And this is it, you guys. This is the main, the main attraction in the house. Is this big backyard? There's plenty to do. You can do some yoga, you can blow some bubbles if that's your thing. There's um, a grill and a seating area as well. And also I felt like, you know, putting um, a fireplace outside. I don't. It's, I feel like that's something that I don't see very often. So I was like, this is such a perfect build to do that in. Like, look at that, that's, that's perfection. If I do say so myself. <laughs> but yeah, this is it you guys, this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please leave any comments down in the comment section below. I would appreciate it if you did subscribe. And yeah, this is it you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon.